Hi, I'm John Brock, R&D engineer at Keystone RV, and today I'm going to explain how solar power works in an RV. It's really all about energy in and energy out. The battery in your RV stores energy. It's a lot like a gas tank because it can only hold a certain amount. And when it's used up, you have to fill it back up. Think of the battery like the gas tank in your vehicle. In order to keep going, you have to fill the gas tank. The more you push the gas pedal, the more gas you're gonna use. And if the battery is the gas tank, the solar panel is the gas pump. In the case of solar, batteries are refilled by the sun shining down onto the solar panels. That energy is collected from the sun and sent to the battery. In an RV, it looks just like this. Solar panels collect energy from the sun and send that energy through the charge controller to the battery for storage. With the energy in your battery, you can run your RV's 12 volt DC system, such as lights, slides, USB ports, vent fans, water pump, and anything else that operates off 12 volt DC power. If you want to use things that require 110 volt AC power, in other words, plugged into an outlet, you will need an inverter. An inverter will take the energy from your battery and convert it from DC to AC and send that energy to your inverted outlet so you can plug in and use things like your TV, your CPAP, coffee pot, and other 110 volt appliances. That means if you have a powerful enough inverter and a big enough battery bank to store energy, you can even run your AC completely from solar power in some situations, which is how many RVers enjoy boondocking, dry camping, and getting off the grid for enjoyment. So that's the basics of how solar energy it works. We at Keystone have seen your massive interest in solar energy and are excited to share the basics with you.